Uh, a nice thing to serve on Thanksgiving or during the holidays, um, my kids love it, warm, hot apple cider. We're headed up north right now to Egg Harbor Lodge, where every fall, um, Sarah serves their guests wonderful cider. and She's going to show us how they make it. Hi, Amy. I love making apple cider for my guests in the fall. I mean, they just love it. They can come outside here and have a cup and, and hang out. And it's very easy to make. We make it every year. Um, I start out with um, a cup of brown sugar. I just measured, this is a, a recipe that's very, very lax. Whatever you want to do. Sometimes if I want it a little more sweet, I'll add a little bit more sugar and other times not. And what I do is I make it in a percolator. You can make this in a, in a coffee maker, but it might flavor your coffee afterwards. So I keep this just for, just for apple cider alone. Then I throw in some whole allspice, probably like about a teaspoonful. Put that in the top. And then I also add about a teaspoon and a half of cloves. You've got to be careful with your cloves. If you put too much in, it gives it too, too funky of a flavor. So that, you've got to be careful. It calls for a couple sticks of cinnamon, but um, these are pretty short sticks. So I'm going to add four to this. And Because um, you don't want it too, they call it spice, but they don't want it too, um, too spicy. And then what I do then is I just get some, I don't even buy the most expensive. You don't need the mold and the pasteurized. You just get this regular apple cider from the grocery store. And then I pour that in. And I like to pour it on top because it kind of helps to melt the sugar and get everything kind of all mixed up in there. And um, it'll take a while for this to perk. If you can do this on the stove, if you do... You let it cook for probably a half an hour. Then if you put it in a glass coffee pot, that'll work. But if you can't put it in anything um, metal because it'll, it'll take the taste. So perk it through. And then I have some ready here that I had made earlier. I, had to put in, I just put it in this little coffee pot and then I kept it warm on my burner and that. So yeah, it's something really fun that we like to do here at Egg Harbor Lodge. Our guests love it. The recipe is really easy. Come enjoy it here at Egg Harbor Lodge with us. Otherwise, make it at home. It's really